Michael. The timeless tradition of bagpipers at memorials can't be stopped by a pandemic. Today, the Madison Fire Department Pipe Brigade heeded the call as they do every year. Local News 8's Juliana Colina tells us more about the group and the reason they play. We're all uh, members of the fire department, but we're all volunteers in this pipe band. Our pipe band is just associated because we're all fire department members. Vice President of the Pipe Brigade, Robert Kohler, tells us pipe bands have been a fire department tradition for hundreds of years, going back to the original firefighters in the United States who are of Scottish and Irish descent. For the past 12 years, the Madison Fire Department's Pipe Brigade has been playing for the community as a way to serve. There's many people that have honorably served and given so much to the community that we like to come back and help their family members honor them. For Navy veteran Jim Hobbs, the music brings back a special memory. One of my home ports was Holy Loch, Scotland, and that gave me a, an inspiration and a desire to, to witness the pipes and drums when I'm able to see them, and Rexburg has a spectacular pipes and drum group. On this Memorial Day, the band traveled throughout five cemeteries in Madison County, playing in front of a crowd of around 60 people in each. It's fun to come and, and help the, the neighborhood, the people of this community honor their fallen family members. Learning to play the pipes takes around a year and much practice after that, a process all too familiar for 17-year-old Carter Miskin, who is currently learning. Miskin is motivated to play alongside his dad and the other pipe band members by his Scottish roots. When people hear bagpipes, I think there's a lot of feeling of family, especially when it's associated with people that have passed on. Reporting in Rexburg, Juliana Colina. Many of the members in Madison Fire Department, our Pipe Brigade, traveled to Scotland to hear the Royal Edinburgh military tattoo perform. Now for the 20th year in a row, the annual Idaho Thunder Run is paragliding through East Southeast Idaho to commemorate Memorial Day. The Thunder Run, starting around 8 a.m., traveled from Century High School to Downey and to Lava Hot Springs.